Surprise, surprise! McAfee have released a free antivirus product. This thing is called McAfee Cloud AV and it's in beta stage right now. So far it looks like a finished product. I haven't encountered any obvious bugs. The UI is uh, very limited, although I would say it looks good, it's visually appealing. But if you're looking for customizability, this is definitely not your product. It is very basic, it just has real-time protection, and that's it. No more, no less. Real-time protection, that's all you get. The strength of this product is going to depend entirely on the power of their cloud. Now, as of yet, I don't see any kind of zero-day protection module, so I'm assuming it's a purely signature-based product, and uh, the signatures are going to be stored in the cloud, so depending on that, we'll see our result. And uh, another point to note is uh, I don't see any exclusions in this interface either. I take it that this product is primarily to promote or bring to light their paid products which are not getting that much attention these days so that could be the reason but let's test it out and see how it does it is in many ways similar to Bitdefender's free antivirus product and it seems to be targeted towards very novice users Alright, so we're going to start with the link test here. So far the product seems pretty light on the system, which is um, unlike their paid products. So I gathered these links like seven or eight hours back, so let's see how things go. Now McAfee wants me to change to their secure search. Uh, I'll do that. Alright, so Here's our first malicious website. And McAfee says, whoa, that download is dangerous. So you can either block it or accept the risk. I'm going to go ahead and block it. Here's link number two. And once again, McAfee's not happy with the link, so we'll go ahead and block that. Now some people whine that it's not automatic and uh, if you hit allow it will probably let you download the file but then again I mean other AV products like AVG also you know always have a block or not block option and honestly as an advanced user I prefer it that way so I wouldn't judge a product badly just because of this uh, you know different preference of UI. If it can catch, if it can detect the malware, that's good enough for me. And if it can give you an option to remove it. So far so good. We haven't seen any thread go by. Once again, malicious. It's not doing too bad. Let's see if it can keep this up till the end. Here's another one and it's also blocked. So it's all web blocking so far. We haven't had to deal with their offline signatures or anything like that. By the way, I'm not sure if this product has any offline signatures. So if you disconnect from the internet, the protection you get may be greatly reduced or maybe none at all. So good job McAfee. It actually managed a clean sheet on the web prevention test. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab some files and that should give us a much clearer insight as to how good this program really is. Here we have our malware samples. We've got 314 items and these are a couple of days old I believe. They're not the best. 
that I've ever managed, but um, probably good enough to do a beta test. So I've disabled McAfee's real-time protection. And we're going to do a scan, but keep in mind uh, McAfee doesn't have a context menu scan as of yet. So that's another severe limitation of this product. And to be honest, you can't even scan. You can just do a full scan or a no scan. There's no option to do a customized scan or to scan specific areas. Nope, can't do that. Gotta buy their paid product. So it is m even more restrictive in terms of functionality than Bitdefender's free antivirus. But anyway, I'll do a full scan and if that doesn't seem to include the desktop, then I guess I'll just have to turn on real-time protection and see how many it can remove actively. McAfee seems to work in mysterious ways. In fact, the scan did not detect any threats, although I had the folder right on my desktop. So I assume they don't scan the desktop. And even if I try to drag the malware into the system with real-time protection enabled, McAfee has absolutely no issue with that. So I'm assuming that uh, the real-time protection is really an on-access protection. So only when you execute the file is when it is scanned. Otherwise, if you modify it, do anything else, it's not really going to be scanned by McAfee, which does make it more light, but that also <clears throat> is going to reduce your level of security. So I guess the only way to do any kind of uh, you know, test with this product is to run all of these files one by one. And well, if we got to do that, we got to do that. This one is blocked. This one too. Once again, quarantined. Alright, so I'm just going to conclude here. So far, I didn't see any threats go past McAfee. Everything was blocked. And if we check, I guess there are no processes running, or no malicious processes running. So that was a pretty good job. However, it's really difficult for me to say exactly how good that was, because there could still be like 50 pieces of malware in here that McAfee might have missed and we wouldn't even know or even a hundred because we still have 260 items now of course uh, this is a very tedious process and I'm not going to go through these one by one 260 items not gonna happen so I'll just uh, end the test here I'll, I guess I'll figure some way out to test this product in more detail once the final version is released but what I'm seeing so far their signatures are good but I'm not sure whether they have any kind of zero-day protection I'll probably do a full review once the final version is released until then subscribe to the PC security channel like this video if you did I was definitely surprised by this announcement from McAfee so what are your thoughts let me know in the comments below and as always Stay informed, stay secure.